Hi, so what I want to go over today is how to create a self-signed certificate using PowerShell that has the subject alternative name. So you'll notice in IES, when I create a self-signed certificate here, it does not have the alternative, the subject alternative name here. And what happens is when you go on to Google or modern web browsers, it'll complain here that there is no subjective or subject alternative name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into PowerShell and I am going to check if I have the command. So I'm going to say get command and the module PKI. And you'll notice in the PKI module there is the new self-signed certificate. Now if you don't have the module installed, you can install the module using this command, install module PKI. Now I can go ahead and run the new sign certificate command here in PowerShell. Now notice I do have the subject and I'm using the conical name which is just my URL. In addition to that I am also using the friendly name and this is the subject alternative name here and I only have one that's non comma separated as well as the not after which is the expiration date I'm extending this three years and I will be storing this in my local machine and I'll get to that uh, afterwards when I create my certificate so let me go ahead and run this command and when I run this command I can type in MMC and bring up my Microsoft Management Console here where I will be adding the certificate module. Choose computer account here, local machine, click finish, click OK. And if I go into the personal folder of the local machine, you'll notice what I have here is the certificate that will last three years and if I go into the certificate just to confirm there is a subject alternative name and it is the value that matches basically my URL here now in terms of the usage you notice here the enhanced usage is both for the client and for the authentication now I do want to copy this to the uh, to the file such that when the clients log in um, they could add it to their trusted certificate route so keep in mind this is for testing scenarios sign self signed certificates are for testing scenarios so I'm going to export this and I will be exporting this with a private key and I do want the uh, the certificate chain so the certificate path is going to be there. I'm going to click next and I'm just going to supply a password that is uh, simply password. And I am exporting this to my temp directory. Test cert. Dot test cert and I'm going to click next and if I go to my root my trusted root authorities I am actually going to import this so that so you you'll be doing this on your client machines browse I'm going to pick my PFX and this is the particular one that I created. I'm going to click next, type in my password which is just password and I am going to import all of this into the trusted root authority and you'll notice it is right here with the three year date and what I'm going to do here is now I'm going to set my website to that particular to that particular certificate here and I am going to select 
this particular one that is um, expiration date is three years this is the particular one that I created uh, just now just to confirm I'm gonna click OK now when I go back to the browser I'm gonna hit refresh and if that doesn't work so you'll notice that now I have an official certificate it is a valid certificate without the subjective um, alternative name now the reason why this is a secure certificate is for two reasons is because I put it in the trusted root of, of the client so it just so happens that I am on the server and I am contacting the server so this is acting as a client machine and a server machine but keep in mind you could distribute that PFX certificate that you export it and the client has to export it into their trusted root and uh, so that's one reason why it's a valid certificate the other one is uh, I did add the subjective alternative name so um, I will have this these directions in the description area of the video and I hope this helped and please subscribe and thank you for watching